Hey guys, what's up? Light Speed Construction here. This is Kirby Smith shouting out to Asheville. And of course, we're here filming live in Knoxville, Tennessee. Uh, Kirby Smith with Light Speed. And uh, uh, Nick Ralton, sorry for that list. That's all right, Nick. <laughs> nice to have you here, man. Thank you so much. Um, for those of you guys that don't know, Atlas is a shingle manufacturer who provides uh, not just shingles, but, uh, but other things. Can you give our, our audience a quick overview on everything that Atlas does for the, the home improvement? And, and sure, sure. So um, we are a little old Atlas, but uh, we actually do a lot more than uh, people think. We actually are also involved in poly ISO boards, um, facer technology. We have an, uh, an area called WebTech, so we actually even manufacture and produce. Um, when you have something in a box and you need to fill in that area with foam, we actually make that too. Okay. We are we are owned by uh, the Hood Division. It's actually a packaging company. So Atlas happens to be the largest uh, part of all of the Hood Division, but we are involved in, uh, like I said, Poly ISO and web technologies. Understood. So Poly ISO is, and, and forgive me if I'm wrong, it's typically going to be an 8x4 board that goes underneath commercial roofing or is an insulating type type board for commercial roofing. That's is that right? right? That's right. And my, my understanding is we're actually the world's largest manufacturer of poly ISO boards. And uh, you can find it as a, I believe we call it facer technology. I'm not very, I'm not very not well. Not exactly your side of it. Not exactly my side of it. We, got okay. another, we have another guy who specializes in that, but yeah, it could be used as roof insulation. And I believe also even uh, the face of commercial buildings. Gotcha. Yep. Yeah. So you would, you would nail that underneath to insulate commercial buildings, whether it's roof or the sides, and then you'd put your skin on the outside, that's exactly whatever right. siding. Yeah, absolutely. So shingles and then packaging. Yep. And oh, ISO yeah, so. boards mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. Okay, cool. Absolutely. Cool. Um, you tell our audience a little bit about the history of Atlas. Uh, what, what got you guys here? What got y'all bringing shingles to our market and putting shingles on roofs in, in Knoxville and, and Western North Carolina? Sure. So uh, we were founded in 1982 out of Meridian, Mississippi. We're, I know exactly where that's at. Know, that's yeah, okay. I know Swan Meridian, Park. Mississippi, okay. um, eastern side of Mississippi. My my mom's family's from Mississippi. Going down there this weekend, actually. Yeah, I know right where. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. uh, where I think that was our original manufacturing facility. Okay. Uh, right before that, we it used to be Georgia Pacific. So if you guys know Georgia Pacific, that was the first plant that we actually acquired. Uh, since then, we've got we've grown to 19 plants in North America. I believe it actually just went to 20, maybe 21 with some new buildings that we are at least ha planning to build on the poly iso side and um we do about two billion a year um so even though we're little allowless we actually do bump out quite a bit of sales and um yeah so we're going to continue to move forward with that uh, out of those 19 or so plants five of which are dedicated shingle plants uh the closest one that serves knoxville is out of hampton georgia so okay. that's where where's that in georgia Hampton, Georgia is about, I don't know, about 30, 45 minutes south of Atlanta, depending on traffic. Gotcha. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Where they invented heat down there, I imagine. It's that, that's nice pretty sure they well manufactured right there. there next Not, to the shingles. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> heat and then shingles that's right. side by side. That's right. Um, brand direction. What, uh, yeah. you know, I just, just touch on that briefly. We might try and wrap up with that conversation as well. What, what folks that are wondering where Atlas is going, shingles, Scotch guard, uh, right. larger shingle format for exactly. our audience. Now you're, you're hitting all the good points with it. Yeah. So there are a lot of different brands to choose from, but when you really look at the entire field, there's not a lot of innovation that's taking place and I'm sure we'll get more into it, but some of those innovations are, we keep in mind the contractor and the homeowner. So we're really trying to benefit every party that's involved with it. And we are doing that through the increased sizes, which we can get into, uh, added warranties for the homeowner and um, improved quality that goes inside the guts of the shingle. We'll talk about that a little bit too. Well, tell us about yourself, Nick. Um, yeah, okay. what, uh, what got you involved with Atlas and uh, where are you from? And have you had any uh, dealings? You're, you live in Middle Tennessee now, right? Right, so I live in Nashville right now. I've been in the building industry for a little over 14 years. I did two and a half years in Atlanta doing uh, plumbing wholesale. It's actually my first. Sorry. Yeah, I know, I know. Well, it was my first professional job after graduating from UT Traffic, right here. man. I am uh, a vol, I am a vol. Oh, cool, man, very good, very good. Yeah, so I did two Do and a half years Do you read for all there. Some folks like to be like, I'm Tennessee football, but Kentucky basketball. Are you, are you oh, vol all the way, or are you like kind of- No, I'm definitely vol all the way. Unless I'm with my girlfriend. She's BGSU, Bowling Green State University. And okay. I What's somehow, up? I BGSU. 
I know, it was crazy. And then we actually ended up playing them in Nashville when I can't really? remember which school ended up dropping their football program. Okay. BGSU came in and took it. So the, the Vols played BGSU at the Titan Stadium. And we, we, were, we were across home that particular day. Yeah, yeah, you so, guys probably didn't talk that morning. Not that much. Not, not separate after. camps. Oh, okay. Yeah, camps fair enough. <laughs> yeah. But, well, uh, yeah, but so, the, uh, so I did two and a half years at the plumbing wholesale. And then the last 12 years or so, I've been working as a manufacturer's rep. I've have been based in Nashville the entire time. Did about six and a half years with the Skylight Manufacturer, and I've been with Atlas for a little over five. Okay. And specializing specifically in shingles, you kind of mentioned the poly ISO wasn't your wheelhouse, and then the packaging, you, you know, it's hood court, but it's not exactly. That's exactly right. So I specialize in what we call the steep slope um, shingle, shingle division, Any, anything that's basically over 312 I'm involved with. Other than that, it goes over to uh, our commercial guys. So for those of you guys out there, Lightspeed Construction has kind of a good, better, best model for our shingle offerings. It's a, we end up calling it precious metals, gold, silver, and bronze. Atlas sits right in the middle. That's our silver option. And one of the things, and you, you probably can echo this, that we like about Atlas is uh, the product itself. I like the fact that we can offer a streak-free warranty uh, to our customers, and that's held through Atlas, which is, that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Uh, the other mention I've got is that, you know, you guys have fewer SKUs. You know, folks out there think, man, I just want a bunch of choices. Give me as many choices. But one of the things that we've noticed is that we don't want a thousand choices for, you know, two or three solid things to think about mm -hmm. is what most of our audience is going to want to typically consider. So that list, let me, tell me if I'm wrong. We've got uh, Storm Master Slate and Shake which are both impact resistant shingles, right. class four IR, where you'd actually get a discount on your homeowner's insurance because potentially, potentially because it's gonna be more, uh, less susceptible to hail or things falling or you know, right. even wind type damage. Mm -hmm. You got Pinnacle Pristine, which is kind of what we see as our, our real silver offering. That's kind of the sweet spot. Right, that's Scotch guarded shingle. Um, there's been a few changes with that here in the not too distant past. And I know you want to touch on that. Mm -hmm. And then pro cut that's that's four shingles that you really attempt to bring to market what a nice i mean it just is simple you know you got two designer shingles and you got two kind of standard dimensional shingles that's right we have to step it up so like at our entry level value value added style it's our pro land product step it up and then step, one step above that's our pinnacle pristine featuring the scotch guard protector one more time and then just above that is our our storm master line which is a class four hail impact rated shingle and just so folks know it's really you know every manufacturer out there has got that that upgraded designer type shingles um yeah, just to give you guys an example and not to hate on certainty we like certainty we like kevin the rep there certainty's got 50 different shingles to choose from now there's their flagship is called landmark would you want to look at landmark or the other 49 shingles that they offer i just get i get a little anxiety trying to take a look at that many choices so that's one of the reasons we like kind of bringing your product to market is that it's just it's real simple to mention real simple to think about don't need to make it too complicated i you think don't. right i agree uh within that pinnacle pristine like i said is our sweet spot remind me is it 15 or is it 16 different colors that you guys have to choose from well we just added some extra colors to it called our natural expressions line it's all considered under the it's all under the pinnacle name but mm -hmm. we have a total of 19 colors uh with pinnacle okay so that's including the natural expressions that includes as well. the natural expressions but there's no there's no price variation between those we launched the new colors and it stays right in line with uh, everything that you've already been used to. It doesn't come out of premium. One of the big things for our audience and one of the additional reasons why Lightspeed Constructions likes bringing Atlas to market and enjoys having a, a silver product out there is that uh, you, know, you can use a web visualizer, whether you're a consumer or a contractor. Uh, it's pretty cool. You'd actually slide through and sort of choose the home that's gonna most look like your home and your property. And then you can kind of choose through those 19 different color choices on the actual property. There's, I don't know, a dozen or so different home choices on Web Visualizer. That's right. Just go to atlasroofing, I guess, dot com, yep. atlas.com. atlasroofing.com. They go to uh, our design center, and they'll already have all those, um, like you said, 12 or more homes that hopefully in that selection you'll find what's closest related to yours, and you can attach any different color to that roof line. Or you can take it one step higher into our uh, into our design studio. You can take a picture of your house 
and you can either yourself draw on draw the lines of your roof and import any of our um, any of our shingles or any of our colors on your roof. So, and if you don't feel like going through the added work of doing that, you can pay just a couple of dollars in the, in the, in the forty dollar range, and we can have someone do that for you. Take your exact home, your exact image, and put our shingle on top of it. So, um, with with those colors, I'd like to take one step back. The natural expressions are newer shingles so we have we've got to say that take a look at natural expressions we are not we are not guaranteeing that we get all those colors available immediately right so unfortunately it's there you guys have brought it to market gripe guys as consumers don't don't be diving in hey it's either summer storm or else right so i know i know that you guys have been wanting to bring that and wanting to kind of import that in the market but uh bear with us you know there's going to be similar colors that we can reach to and find that that may kind of suit best as well and with all of those really where you kind of move past that pro cut or that pro lamb mm -hmm. um you get into pinnacle pristine shake and slate it's going to be scotch guarded right that's right so we talked about earlier about what are the different innovations when you look at the marketplace you have all these options so how do you really distinguish what is of value to that homeowner right good question we try to do that almost every day right that's what we're trying to try that's to get what, across to the that's homeowner. what we're here for yes that's exactly right so it is our job to put that homeowner with what we think is really the, the best decision for them that's what they pay us for they were paying for our expertise and so Atlas is really listening to the marketplace. Well, what is it that's a, a, what is the biggest concern for a homeowner? Right. And generally, a lot of it is that black streaking and staining that they have on the roof. They have no idea what it is. There's a lot of misconceptions, not just with the homeowners, but with the contractors alike. Cleared um, up, brother. Let's have right, it. What's, right. the, what's the word on that black streaking? What are we so, talking about so, there? Well, let's go through what the uh, misconceptions are first. Is there, there's a... Uh, it could be entertaining at some value. Okay. So uh, some people think it's just dirt and debris that's built up over time. And so now they have this dirty roof and this has kind of gotten grimy. That's what it looks like. That's, mm -hmm. what, that's what it is. Mm -hmm. um, we have some homeowners that believe that the asphalt inside the shingle has become so hot and overheated is now melting and leaking through the shingle. And then uh, in my own area. I like that story. That's, that's a good one. one. That's yeah, a good one. that's Wait not bad one. right there. This, one, this one's oh, pretty good too. Oh, you got a topper on I that? I got a topper. Okay, let's have it. So I love pretty much near the airport. And then I've had contractors, multiple contractors in my area tell me that it's jet fuel fallout that is now collected on the roof. And that's what they're dealing with. When the reality is, those are all fun stories, but they are misconceptions. Really all it is, is algae, specifically blue green algae, or more specifically gliocapsid magma. And that's what's growing on your roof. And the reality is, it's not doing any damage to your roof, but it is, it's really impacting the aesthetics of it. And it's a very big issue in the Southeast. If you lived in Arizona, maybe this is not the best product for you because you just don't really deal with algae on the roof out there. But here in, in Knoxville, Chattanooga, Nashville, all those areas, we are right in the algae. In Asheville, North Carolina. In Asheville, yep. North Carolina, for sure. Anywhere in the Southeast, you know, we're absolutely going to be getting it. It's really not a question of if, it is a question of when. That That is a true statement in our area. So from a, a person calling a sales standpoint, we like to find out, like you said, what's that sweet spot for them or what's that pain point for them? You know, what's going on? So one of the questions I lead with, and if you can think of any better variations of this, you know, hey, what's the most important thing to you on your roof? We hear a couple of different answers. If that's aesthetics, I like color, I want it to look right. Mm -hmm. We begin to mention, you know, do you want it to look right on the first day and the fifth year or just on the first day, right. you know? so. That's, that's one thing, you know, going around and snapping photos of five-year-old roofs, a third of them or better are going to look like that black streaking, what is this, oh my gosh, Right. which in my opinion will diminish curb appeal. Right. And if you look at current Dimin design patterns, like most of your roof, most, at least 50% of the curb appeal of your house is on the roof line. Yep. So if you are making an expensive investment in your roof, if you're making an investment on that, don't you want to make sure that you are taking care of it, right? So don't, wouldn't you like to know that in year 15, it's going to look the same as it did in year one? And that's all what we're projecting here. Just had an idea. Try this one. Atlas, taking it to the street. Taking it to the streets, that's right. You know, the curb I appeal. Like that. Yeah. Uh, we're going to have to okay. talk to our marketing department. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I should trademark that before we go all the way that's with probably it there, a smart right? Idea. That's probably a like smart idea. That's idea. Taking it to the street. I'm definitely part of it. Okay, no problem. Yeah, it's a, it's a, you know, we'll, we'll 
talk about our partnership a little later, okay. 60, 40, maybe. All right, I'm fine with that. <laughs> no negotiation uh, needed. Yeah, yeah, no, done, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we mentioned IR singles, class four rated IR singles, potentially discounted on homeowners insurance. You guys have got a pretty sweet price point. We are definitely seeing you guys being in a sweet price point with Stormmaster mm -hmm. Slate and Shake. Right. Um, but you've done a little changes to that, that product That's over the right. past years or two. Can you tell our audience a little bit about what to expect with those, with those changes and what the differences are? So this is the part of the innovation, right? What is Atlas doing different from everybody else? So IR, impact resistant, just to kind of give a little bit of background of what it is, what it means, what it takes to achieve that. So to get impact resistance, uh, the test is you take a two inch ball bearing, you drop it from 20 feet, it's got to hit that shingle twice in the exact same spot. And if, once you flip that shingle over, if it didn't break the glass mat on the back, okay. then you have now passed the test. You are now a class four shingle. Okay. I'm sure it's more complicated than that, but that's okay. how it gets explained to me. A lot of engineering tests end up about like that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's exactly. weird. It's I went to school for that. And it's okay. like you'd be you'd be blown away with how, how you know the, the bubble gum and duct tape test. You know, oh, yeah. Right. Oh, right, right. Yeah, right. that's how that usually works. <laughs> so that's how that's how you pass it. But so. When you talk about the price point of us versus some of the other manufacturers, I just told you what they need to do is not have that last piece of glass mat break, right? Right. So some of the more expensive shingles, sometimes maybe the only thing that they're doing to make their shingle more impact resistant is just adding more and more layers of that fiberglass mat, which is expensive. Right. So that drives the cost up. Yeah. Being in the innovative side that we are, instead of just adding multiple Being layers on that of, side, right? We have, we had originally introduced SBS. I don't think SBS was original to Atlas, but what is original Atlas is our movement from SBS to core four. Okay. So what core four is, is basically a modified asphalt, but more specifically, it is a virgin polymer that we're using. Okay. So at a molecular level, if you look at our storm master shingles, which are class shingle or class four shingle, at a molecular level, we're more, we're more advanced than any other shingle that's on the market. And essentially what it is is, just on the molecular level, the not molecular anywhere level, else. Nowhere you, else. You're, you're messed up on everywhere else, Everything. but the molecular that level. That will be nailed. You guys own that it. We tied All that yours. One up, put a bow right on there. <laughs> okay, but, uh, well, cool. We got that going for us anyway. Right, right, right. <laughs> so, uh, but we use virgin polymers specifically because okay. now, if you use like, another form of SBS, you may be using a recycled content style of SBS, a modified asphalt. When you do it that way, you don't know where that recycled content came from. So when our engineers are testing it, it's hard to estimate what that new unknown recycled material is gonna do 15, 20 plus years down the road. But hmm. since we're using the virgin polymer, we know the characteristics of it, we can actually test and tell you with a high degree of certainty how that shingle is going to perform in time. And so that's why the molecular- Thus you guys own it. It's that's all yours. Yeah. Well, it is, it is nice to be able to predict results, you know, yes. to say that, hey, because it hasn't been, wasn't in a tire, it wasn't in a street before, it wasn't on a road, mm -hmm. even though that stuff sounds pretty cool, you know, hey, recycled shingles, whatever. You, at the end of the day, I think folks would want their shingle to work better than say, for example, maybe be pulled from tar somewhere else. Right, right? and you talk about recycled shingles, What's the cradle to grave? Yes, you can still use a virgin polymer on your roof now because we'll recycle that shingle into the road later. So it's okay that you're using virgin up front because it's still going to get recycled back. And Potentially re recycle it into the road. T. Dot well, never actually sure. wrote the spec, right? Uh, that I, I don't. don't know. I don't think they did. Yeah, yeah. You're closer to James White Park or uh, James Robertson Parkway down there with the uh, with T. Dot and everything. Oh, but yeah, maybe I don't think they ever wrote a spec for. Uh, and I could be wrong to to put old old asphalt and huh? and tires into roads. You know, I was wondering about that. You know, you got the nails and everything. That's probably where their sticking point was. Did you really want to put it? Nails the could be in a, yeah. Not to, not to put too fine a point on it. Yeah, gotcha. yeah, I don't want to put too fine of a point on that. <laughs> that would definitely be a way not to own the molecular level. That, right there is leave nails right. sticking up in your recycled asphalt That's a good road. Point. That's a good point. I'll have to do some research on that. Directions, man, where are you guys going? What what are you bringing to, to our audience? What's the end user? And how are you helping develop your contractor base, what are some things we can look forward to as well to kind of be able to bring our best product and put our best foot forward to the, the customer? Perfect. No, I, I'm glad you asked it that way because a lot of times we talk about just the sales tools that are going towards the homeowner, which we were doing in the Scotchgard, Scotchgard product, obviously, and the new Core 4 technology protecting them. Uh, mm -hmm. But what we're doing specifically for the contractor and you know what we're bringing for you guys is what we call the HP 42 format. 
Uh, it's our shingle size. Yep. You can be found on our ProLand products, Scotchgard product, and Stormmaster slate, not the shake. Biggest shingle out there, I think? Biggest shingle out yeah. there, okay. uh, at least in our area. Yeah. Uh, I, I think haven't heard of anything. Normally it's like 30, 39, and 39 and 3 eighths, is that what it is? Yeah. Okay, 39 yeah. and a half, yeah. So HP 42 is what we call our BFD, our bigger, faster design. HP stands for high performance, 42 refers to the actual width of it. So we go from 39 and 3 eighths, or, and then we stretch out the 42. The benefits of that for the contractor are really just speeds up the installation for you. So if you look at a 40 square roof, is which how we kind of look at your average roof. Um, we end up using 320 less shingles versus our competitors, uh, which speeds up the install from about two to four hours. And if you are saving on nails, you really want to pay attention to your total waste cost. We end up using a one, uh, end up it's basically one bucket less than you would use hmm. with anybody else, which okay. ends up being about 6,400 less nails that you end up using. So there's going to be a design studio that you'd mentioned earlier mm -hmm. where folks can go in and draw around their roof and then possibly transport. Needless to say, one of the directions we like that you guys have maintained for a while is that roof visualizer. By the way, you can go straight to lightspeakinstruction.com, our online brochure. Uh, under there, there's a silver uh, section, which is the Atlas section, and we have the roof visualizer right there as well. Or if you want to go to visualize, you can just Google Atlas Pinnacle Pristine, and typically it's going to take you directly there. That's what I almost always do. But there's the Swap app as well, and if you don't mind touching on um, the Swap app uh, with Atlas, and and possibly maybe some upcoming trainings in the, our areas for other contractors as well. Yeah, absolutely. And we'll bring it home with that. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, so like you mentioned, we have the Design Center. That's only found on our website. It's only to be done on a PC. Okay. Uh, however, if you're on the go and you really wanted to try to use some tools to, as for the homeowner or even as a contractor helping out the homeowner, we've got an app called the Roof called Roof Swap. Okay. And what you can do on there, you can kind of storyboard what you want your shingle to look like. So you're not just taking a picture of the house and the roof line. You're okay. also taking pictures of your shutters and your, you know, your driveway. And we basically help you figure out what color best suits the rest of your property. Okay. It's, uh, it's kind of hard to explain. You almost have to get in there and start playing around with it. But we give you all the options with all the shingles, of course, all the different colors. So you can kind of help guide, make you make helping you make the best decision, and so. improving that curb appeal, bringing it to the street, bring right? it to the streets, exactly, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Training for us, training for your contractors, yep. best foot forward. Anything coming up? Any any series that you're excited about in the next not too yeah, distant future? Absolutely. So we're all, we're always trying to educate our contractor base. That's where I think everything starts. It okay. starts and ends there, really, as, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, but the things that we do, like we have guys like me, girls like me. Girls like me. Girls like me in the area too. That's a song, actually. <laughs> <laughs> they're all. They're mostly around the U.S. Basically, we don't extend past the Rockies, not too far. We basically okay. Rockies to the east. So if you're interested, you can get on our website, find the girl like me or the guy like me around there, and uh, we'll we'll come to you. We'll do the training. We'll, we'll let you know everything that's going on here. But we also do plant tours. So I love it when I get to put my hands on the products. So it's one thing to be talked at like this and hear the stuff. It's another thing to really see it in action. And so we always invite our contractors, especially to our Hampton, Georgia plant, which is where our research and development center is located. You can actually meet the guys who design and that test molecular the level. And you can it's find ownership that's right, right there. You'll see a photo of those at the molecular <laughs> level. And, uh, that virgin, uh, virgin SPS bouncing off each other that's and whatnot. Right, that's yeah. right. Well, brother, man, it's uh, been super cool, Nick. Thank you so much for stopping by. Good meeting you, yeah. and uh, we definitely appreciate the smoothies. Uh, Facebook, YouTube, however you guys are taking a look at us. We appreciate you watching. This is Kirby Smith with Lightspeed Construction. Nick Rolfson, Atlas Roofing. Take care, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you.